So uh, we are um, going to uh, dive in and unpack some of the issues around how consumers feel about privacy presently and how that uh, is changing. So uh, we're fortunate enough that Trustee is, has figured all of that, this out for us, right? <laughs> sure. Because you just come out with a survey on consumer attitudes around privacy, which I think, I thought there were some pretty shocking um, findings in this one. First being that apparently people now care more about privacy than they do about their income. So maybe you could uh, sure, I'll give some tell of the details. us a little bit so, more about that. Um, yeah, one of the things that we did, and we did it in combination, so I'll jump in here too, Michael, uh, with the NCSA. Um, but you'll see at least on our site, and it's up, there's um, a couple of different uh, surveys that we did. One from US kind of, um, citizens, another one uh, of UK citizens, and we asked roughly the same set of questions to try and get a, a perspective on how consumers view privacy, what the issues are, what they're worried about, um, what kind of actions are they taking, how does it impact businesses. There's a lot in there, but um, pulling a couple of tidbits from uh, the infographic, and the, the US one in particular we've done for six straight years with a lot of the same questions. So I'll try to reference some of that as I just share some of the data points. First, um, we asked uh, internet users in the US, are they worried about privacy online? Pretty open-ended question. Response was 92% said they were worried, which is um, last six years we've seen 85% and higher, but it's consistently kind of ticked up year over year. And when we asked them if they're more concerned this year than last year, um, that was in the 45% range. So. Um, kind of whether it's consumers seeing breaches, um, hearing things about privacy, hearing about this EU safe harbor thing that went away and how does that impact me and not really understanding, but just the talk has people concerned. Um, I think we asked, <clears throat> you know, um, with that, um, do you understand how companies share and use your personal information? Um, and 31% said they knew. So a very low number, that's usually consistently low. Um, and what happens when people don't know and understand is they tend to act negatively. So the question of does this basically cause a business impact, how many of you avoided companies that, didn't, that you felt didn't protect your privacy? That answer was 89%. So I think there's this huge kind of knowledge gap that we've seen consistently year after year of consumers being concerned. Um, in this case, 75% of them actually said um, they personally adequately believe that they protect their own privacy. But when you ask the question of, well, how do you do that? Um, did you know you can read a privacy policy? 33% said, yes, I know I can read a privacy policy. When you ask how many of you read it, 16% actually read it. <laughs> when you ask questions like, um, how many do you know that you can uh, change your social media settings? You know, 43% yes. How many of you do it? Uh, 29, right? So um, people are, are pretty confident in themselves, but when you ask the how is the why is the what are you doings, um, those answers get pretty thin pretty quickly. Um, and then one last comment I'll make, and I'm certain there will be a lot of discussion on this as well as other things. Um, the business impact, I think, is what's most interesting because if there's this knowledge gap of consumers being worried but not knowing how to deal with that, um, you know, does it impact businesses? And what consumers said they were doing was not clicking on ads, not downloading apps, not finishing transactions on websites. So there is a business impact back there. Um, we still see all the numbers. It says you know, e-commerce is off the charts this year compared to last year. It's been growing consistently since e-commerce started. Um, but I think what you also see is there's disparity in those numbers in the sense that the big guys who have brand, have trust, have con given consumers that confidence. Uh, the Amazons of the world have very successful holiday shopping seasons, but the smaller mid-market merchants, the ones you don't see as often that don't have that brand and trust, that's where these privacy issues, security issues, what's happening to my data, why are they asking me this question, should I buy here, is it really worth the 10% you know, cheaper price I can get? Um, that's where this starts to, to, to seep into consumers' views and expectations.